everyone can you guys hear me wave if you can hear me good awesome all right hello guys welcome welcome thank you guys for being here my name is sean i'll be guiding you through the next 75 minutes of your vinyasa flow so let's all go ahead and start out in child's pose. So the big toes will touch, knees come wide, reach the arms out, spread the fingertips wide, chest comes down to the mat. Just start to settle in, melt into your child's pose here. So our vinyasa flows are usually a little bit more intense than our Vinyan or our Yin classes. So if at any point you guys need to take a modification, especially my teacher trainers, I know we just did some yoga. <laughs> so if you guys need to take your modifications, please do so. Child's pose is always available to you as well. So let's start to come into the breath here, scan the body, check in with yourself. Anything that's been weighing on you, any stresses going on in your life right now, anything that you're thinking about doing later on, just let all that stuff go and take the next 75 minutes to just be here for yourself and your practice. So let's take a deep breath together in through the nose for five, four, three, two, one. Hold it at the top. Open the mouth and exhale it out. Let's go ahead and take one more just like that. Deep inhale through the nose for five, four, three, two, one. Open the mouth and sigh it out. And then let's start to come into our Ujjayi breath. So our Ujjayi breath is gonna be deep inhalations in through the nose. Deep exhalations out of the nose with a slight constriction in the back of the throat, almost making a little bit of an audible noise as you exhale. So take a couple deep Ujjayi breaths here. This deep yogic breath work that we do in our practice is known as our pranayama practice. So throughout your yoga flow today, try to connect with the breath, especially when you get into your difficult poses, we try to breathe through the uncomfortability. 
And this is a practice that we do not just on our mats, but off of our mats as well. The asana or physical practice is just one of the most outer sheaths of our yoga practice. So really try to connect with the breath here today. Take a couple more deep ujjayi breaths here. One more breath. And on the exhale, let's come on to all fours into a neutral tabletop position. <clears throat> and let's get into a nice little wrist stretch here. So from our neutral tabletop, let's go ahead and turn the fingertips around so that they're pointing towards the knees. And then go ahead and just lean back a little bit to your comfortability level, just getting a nice stretch through the wrist here. And then go ahead and point the fingertips out towards the edge of the mat. And then start to do little circle rotations out over the wrist and then back in towards yourself and over the wrist. Just doing big circles here, waking the wrists up. And then go ahead and reverse the rotation. Now let's point the, the fingers back towards the knees and flip the hands upside down so that the tops of the hands are on the mat now. You might have to take one hand at a time on this one. I do because my wrists are all jacked up. So if you are taking one hand, that's perfectly fine. If not, go ahead and come into your wrist stretch. <clears throat> if you're doing just one hand, go ahead and switch to the other hand. And then come back to a neutral tabletop position. From here, let's extend the right arm out. The left leg extends back. Really reach with the arm and leg, extending out. Flat neutral spine here. And go ahead and start twisting through the wrist and the ankle. Reverse the rotation. Look back, reach back and grab the foot. Kick the foot into the palm of the hand. Breathe. Go ahead, release the foot. Arm comes back out, leg comes back out, and then drop them down to the mat. Opposite arm, opposite leg extends out. Start to twist through the wrists and the ankle. Reverse your rotation. Look back, reach back, grab the foot. Go ahead and extend that arm back out, leg extends back out, drop it down to the mat. We're gonna come into our cat cow series here. So on the inhale, drop the belly, gaze goes up to your cow. Exhale, round through the back and the shoulders, tuck the navel into the spine to your cat. And we're gonna do three more of those. Inhale up to your cow, exhale to your cat. Inhale, up to cow. Exhale to cat. One more. Inhale, gaze goes up, drop the belly. Exhale to your cat pose. On the inhale, come back to a neutral tabletop position. Cross the ankles over one another and just go ahead and sit back onto the glutes so that you're sitting on your mat, the legs crossed. Bring the hands to heart center. And on the inhale, let's inhale. The arms come up overhead. Reach up, getting a nice stretch here. Maybe clasp the fingers together and then go ahead and drop it on over to the right. Getting a nice side stretch here through the obliques. Inhale it back through center. Exhale to the left. Inhale it back up to the center. Then exhale, arms come out for cactus. Bring the hands to heart center, close the eyes. Let's take two deep breaths here, in through the nose. 
Open the mouth, any stale air, blow it out. One more deep breath here, in through the nose. Open the mouth, sigh it all out. From here, we're gonna go ahead, open the eyes, bring the hands back down to the mat, find your neutral tabletop position again. This time we're gonna curl over those toes, hips come high into your first downward facing dog. So in your down dog, you want those arms to be extended out straight, fingertips wide, neutral spine here. Suck the navel in, engage the core, heels drop down towards the mat. Gaze us through the legs. Take two more deep breaths here. On the next inhale, the right leg comes high. Twist through the ankle. Reverse the rotation. And then go ahead and drop, drop that foot over towards the glutes. Bend at that knee. Gaze goes up through the armpit, getting a nice stretch here. Go ahead and do some hip rotations if you'd like. And reverse the rotation. Extend that leg back up straight and then bring it through for your dragon pose. So the back knee is gonna drop onto the mat. Heel toe that foot out to the edge of the mat. You can stay high in the hands here or come down to the forearms. Maybe you take a twist, open that arm up, <clears throat> open the chest up, or if you want, it's in your practice, reach back and grab for that foot. Wherever you're at, two breaths. Wherever you're at, let's meet back on, hands back down to the mat, heel toe that foot into the center for your low lunge. On the exhale, let's go ahead, sit back. Andrea Hamanasana, your half splits. So straighten that front leg out, foot is flexed. Inhale, straight back, then exhale, fold over that leg. <clears throat> inhale, back to low lunge. This time, let's inhale, the arms come up overhead. Exhale, water wheel. Left arm extends out, right arm extends back. Gaze goes to the right. Inhale, arms come back up overhead. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. This time, let's try to pick that front foot up off of the mat. Kick it back into your high plank pose. Hold your high plank. Engaging through the core here. Fingertips spread wide, really push away from the mat. Engage those inner thighs and glutes. Two more breaths. Let's lower down, low plank. Inhale to your upward facing dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Let's do the other side. Left leg comes high. Twist through the ankle, reverse your rotations. Go ahead and drop that foot on over, opening it up Do your hip rotations if you'd like. When you're ready, straighten that leg back up, bring it on through for your dragon pose. And somebody loves you back. So whatever you did on the other side, go ahead and do the same thing here. All right, let's go ahead and heel toe that foot into the center of the mat for your low lunge. Sit back for your half split. You want the back leg to be at a 90 degree angle. So you might have to heel toe that front foot up a little bit. 
Get that leg straight and then bend over, fold over that leg. Two breaths. Inhale, come back to your low lunge. Arms come up high overhead. Water wheel the arms. Inhale, those arms come back up high. Bring them down to the mat. Take your flow, chaturanga, high plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Let's take a few breaths here. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and tiptoe the feet up towards the top of the mat to meet the hands to our forward fold. And then let's hang in our rag doll. So let gravity take over here, getting a nice stretch to that lower back, getting into the parasympathetic nervous system here. Maybe you grab opposite elbows, start to sway from left to right. Let the head hang heavy. Maybe nod it yes, nod it no. No, yes, yes, no, yes. And then let's slowly, one vertebrae at a time, start to roll it up. Hands come up, follow, circle the sun. Exhale, hands to heart center, close the eyes. Let's take two deep breaths here, in through the nose. Out through the mouth. And let's go ahead and set our intention for the rest of our practice here. So your intention can be a mantra, it can be an I am statement, right? I am loved, I am enough, I am strong. Whatever it is, whatever you need, or maybe it's for someone else, go ahead and set your intention now. And then let's inhale that intention in. Exhale, send it out to the world. One more time, inhale. Exhale, blink the eyes open, hands come up overhead, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back extension. Exhale, chaturanga, take your float. High plank, to low plank. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. I'm gonna come into our sun sal A's now, or Sira Namaskar A. So on the next inhale, let's go ahead and walk to, back to the top of the mat to meet that forward fold. Inhale, flat back extension. Exhale, fold. Inhale, the arms come up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back extension. Exhale, chaturanga. Take your float. Meeting in downward facing dog. Look between the feet, step or hop, walk to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, flat back extension. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms come up high, circle the sun. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms come back up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back extension. Exhale, chaturanga, take your float. Inhale, high to low. Upward facing dog to downward facing dog. Look between the hands, step, hop, or float to the top of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale, flat back extension. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms come high. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, hands come high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back extension. Exhale, take your flow. We only got 30 more of these guys. Just kidding, we'll just do two more. All meet in downward facing dog. Look between the hands. Make your way to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, flat back extension. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, arms come up high, circle the sun. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, hands come back high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back extension. Exhale, chaturanga, take your flow. Last one here, guys. I'm just gonna cue the breath. So on the inhale, we'll make our way to the top of the mat, forward fold, flat back extension. Exhale, inhale, exhale. In, in, inhale, exhale. We'll all meet and down. Right leg comes high. Bring it in, need a nose. Right leg comes back up, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, back up high. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Inhale it back up high. This time we'll exhale, bring it through for crescent lunge. So the feet are gonna be pointed forward, 12 o'clock, bending at that front leg so the knee stacked over the ankle, pushing the heel up off of the mat. That back leg's energetically engaged and straight. Hands come up overhead, engage the core, gaze goes up. Breathe. Warrior two. So in warrior two, that back foot's gonna be parallel to the mat, bending over that ankle, knee stacked over ankle. Lunge deep into your warrior two. Arms are extended out energetically as if somebody's playing a game of tug of war with your arms. Gaze goes over that front arm, front middle finger. Breathe. Exhale, reverse the warrior. Warrior two. Reverse the warrior. Warrior two. Side angle. So that forearm can come to the knee. Maybe the hand comes down to the mat, the inside of the foot. Opposite arm reaches high. Maybe try to open it up a little bit, opening up the chest and heart. Breathe. So nice. Using your core strength, let's come back up to warrior two. This time, let's straighten that front leg out. Start to hinge forward, then lower down for Trigonasana, triangle pose. That hand that's in the air, let's bring it down to meet the other hand and then start to walk the hands out towards the middle for a wide-legged forward fold. We're just gonna be here for just a few seconds. Now keep walking those hands back until you get to the back of your mouth, turn around facing the other way. That's right, switching it up on you guys. Come right back into it, other side, crescent lunge. Nice job, yogis. Warrior two. And all my strong warriors. I got a lot of strong warriors in class today. Loving it. <laughs> all right, guys, let's reverse the warrior. Warrior two. Reverse the warrior. Warrior two. Side angle. Three. Two. 
He's in that core strength. Come back up, warrior two. This time straighten up front leg out start to hinge forward then lower down trigonasana triangle pose that hand can be on the ankle here it can be either to the left or right side of the ankle maybe it's on the shin wherever you're at try to energetically push that other arm up towards the sky and open up reach back opening the chest and heart up one more breath One arm that's in the air, let's bring it back down to the mat to meet the other hand. Walk it back out to the middle again for that wide legged forward fold. Chill here for just a second, getting a nice stretch. And then let's keep walking it back till we come to the front of the mats again. This time, let's shoot that foot back right into your high plank pose. Hold your high plank. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Chaturanga, lower down, take your flow. Pull all meet downward facing dog. You need to take a break, take a break, take a sip of water. Maybe take child's pose for a minute. We'll all meet back in downward facing dog. Don't worry, guys. I didn't forget about that other leg. Left leg comes high. Bring it through. Need a nose. Inhale it back up. Left knee to left elbow. Back on up. Left knee to right elbow. Back up high. Go ahead and set it down for your downward facing dog. Take a breath here. And from here, let's go ahead and step to the top of the mat for your forward fold. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, those arms come up high. Exhale, hands to heart center, close the eyes. Take two breaths here, guys. Come back to that breath. Come back to that intention. All right, I guess now that we're warmed up, we can really start moving. It's fun, right? <laughs> All right, guys, let's open the eyes. Inhale, those arms come high. Let's sit right on into it. Utkatasana, chair pose. Everyone's favorite, right? So the feet are going to be together. Knees are together. Arms extended up high. Try to get them behind the ears. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Sink lower into that chair pose. Try not to let the booty hang out. Try to engage the core here. And breathe. Hands come to heart center. Let's take a twist on over to the right. So that right elbow is going to connect to that, I'm sorry, left elbow is going to connect to that right knee. Press the palms into the hands, taking a nice twist to the spine here. Breathe. Nice, Mallory. Go ahead and step that left leg back for your twisting crescent lunge. Splay the arms open. Now using the core, staying right where you're at, just come up, bring the arms up with you for your water wheel. Inhale, the hands come high for crescent lunge. And exhale, chaturanga, take your flow. From downward facing dog, let's walk to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms come up, circle the sun. Right back into it, other side, chair pose. Breathe. You guys got this. Hands to heart center. Let's take a twist on over to the other side. Right elbow comes onto that left knee. 
pressing the palms in to one another. Stay low in that squat. Split the arms. Engaging that core, let's come on up, water wheel. Hands come back up high for a crescent lunge. And then bring them down to the mat, take your flow. Take two breaths here. All righty, guys, from our downward facing dog, let's shift forward into high plank. Plant that right hand in the middle of the mat. Left arm comes up, side plank. Maybe lift the leg up. Maybe bring the arm out over the head. Wherever you're at, two more breaths. Stay with your focus. Bring that hand back down to the mat for high plank. And let's bring that left hand into the center. Side plank on the other side. You guys are doing great. Bring that hand back down to the mat, high plank pose. Lower down, chaturanga, take your flow. We'll all meet in downward facing dog. One more breath. We're facing dog. Let's step or hop to the top of the mat. For forward fold, inhale, flat back extension. Exhale, fold, inhale, circle the sun. Arms come up. Let's come right back into it again. Chair pose. Yay. This time, let's pulse it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold your chair pose. Where's the mind at? Where are your thoughts at? Do you hate this pose? You hate me, maybe you wish I'd stop talking and cue us into the next pose. Wherever the thoughts are at, try to let them go. Change the thinking. Breathe. Use your breath. Sadasana pose. Stand tall. Relax. Close the eyes. Take a few breaths. You're ready. Let's inhale. The arms come high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back extension. Exhale, chaturanga. Take your flow. Meeting in downward facing dog for a few breaths. <clears throat> Breathe. Make sure you're staying with the breath. All right. Let's go ahead and downward facing dog. Lift that right leg up high. Bring it through for warrior one. Back foot's at 45 degrees. Dreamer. That knee stacked over the ankle. Low into that lunge. Try to square the hips off here as much as you can. Then the arms come up overhead. Square off the shoulders. Gaze goes up. Breathe. We're going to come into some of our fun balancing poses here, guys. So from warrior one, we're going to come into warrior three. Kick off with that back foot. Hinge forward. Come right into warrior three. Hands can be at heart center or extended out over the face and head. Try to see if you can get that left hip down a little bit more, squaring the hips off. Breathe.
from here, just look back, take that left arm and see if you can grab the foot and then just kind of stay here for your dancer pose. Maybe start to kick that foot a little bit into the hand. Opposite arm extends out. Maybe finding a dristy or something to look at or stare at. That helps a lot with your balance. Breathe. Go ahead, bring it down for half moon. That left arm comes back down to the mat for standing splits. Maybe you can walk the hands a little closer to the ankle. Maybe they're on the leg or shin. Wherever you're at, stay with the breath. If you're doing needle, that's fine too. Revolve half noon. That left arm stays, right arm comes up high, taking a twist to the body. Gaze goes up. Hand it's in the air, comes back down to the mat. Foot that's in the air, meets the foot that's on the mat. Forward pull. From here, find your downward facing dog. Step back into down dog. Two breaths. Left leg comes high. Bring it on, on through, warrior one. Come right into it, warrior three. Find that dristy, keep your focus and breathe. You guys all look great right now. Picture perfect. From warrior three, go ahead and drop it into that half moon. I'm sorry, dancer pose guys, I lied to you. <laughs> Reach back to the foot, dancer pose. <clears throat> Kicking into that hand. Staying with your focus. Now let's go ahead and let go of that foot into your half moon. And it's in the air, comes down for your splits or needle pose. Sorry, standing split. Breathe. Right hand stays on the mat, left hand comes up for revolve half moon. Bring that hand back down to the mat. Bring that foot to meet the foot on the mat, forward fold. Let's inhale, the arms come up. And then exhale, Tadasana pose, close the eyes. Take a few cleansing breaths here. All right, guys, from here, let's open the eyes. We're gonna go ahead and take the feet, heel toe the feet out to the edges of your mat. Take the hands to heart center and then go ahead and start to sit down into your yogi squat. Taking those elbows on the inside of the knees, pushing them open, flat neutral back here. Breathe. <clears throat> All right, so from here, we're gonna have a little fun, guys. We're gonna try our crow pose. So if you've never done crow pose before, the hands will come down to the mat, about shoulder width apart. Those knees are gonna come into the armpits. And you're gonna start to just hinge forward a little bit, maybe taking one foot off of the mat at a time, and then just trusting yourself. 
if you fall out, it's okay. You're not gonna die. I promise it's not a very fall, far fall. Just come right back into it. Go ahead and try it. If you guys don't want to try crow or you don't like crow, stay in your yogi squat, maybe take your binds. If you are in crow pose and you want to invert, if you have inverted before, go ahead and come into your headstand if you'd like. If you want to invert but never have before, don't try it right now, see me after class. So wherever you're at, crow, inversion, or yogi squat, just stay here with the breath, stay with the focus. If you're inverted, go ahead and start making your way back down. See if you can make your way back into that crow pose. We're all going to meet in low plank. So if you're in crow, go ahead and shoot the legs back into your low plank pose. Hold your low plank. All right, let's inhale up to high plank. Hold it. Our last little push here, guys. You got it. Low plank, lower halfway down. Hold it. Back up to high plank. Exhale, lower all the way down to the stomach. Take a cheek to the mat. Let those arms come out to the side of the body. Relax, take a few breaths here. Maybe switch the cheek. In our so let's go ahead and start with sphinx pose. Take the hands next to the chest. And on the inhale, just come to your upward facing dog chest, but keep those hip points on the mat. Gaze goes up, getting a nice stretch to that lower back here. Maybe if you want a little bit more, you extend the arms all the way out straight. We're only doing one round of this, so breathe. Stay with it. Boom, boom. Exhale, bring it back down to the mat. And we're gonna come into our bow series here. So for bow, go ahead and reach back, grab the feet. And on the inhale, we're gonna kick those feet into the hands as we lift the chest up at the same time. Come right up into it, bow pose. Creating opposition here. See if you can go a little further. Breathe. Nice, lower it down. Windshield wiper those legs left to right. Take a cheek to the mat. Take a breath here. All right, coming into round two. Go ahead, grab those feet. Come right into it. Second round, go post. Breathe, make sure you're breathing. Hold that bow, you guys got this. Exhale it down to the mat. Windshield wiper the legs. Take your cheek to the mat, breathe. All right guys, the last and final round. So give it all you got this time. Let's not overthink it, let's come right into it. Grab those feet. You guys got this. One more round. Come on up. Bow pose. Try and see if you can go a little bit deeper, a little harder this time. Breathe. You guys got this. All right. Release it down. Take a cheek to the mat. Windshield wiper the legs. Breathe. All right, guys, let's come into child's pose. So those big toes touch, those knees spread wide. Go ahead and drop the chest to the mat. Forehead comes to the mat, maybe massaging that third eye a little bit. 
Those arms extend out, fingertips wide. Just take a few deep breaths here, coming back to your breath, back to your intention. Let's go ahead and walk the hands forward, bringing those hips up into your puppy pose. Chest drops back down to the mat. Maybe you can get your chin on the mat this time. Extend those arms out. Breathe. Let's inhale it up to a neutral tabletop position, taking that right arm up high, getting a nice big stretch through the shoulder and chest here, and then thread the needle, bring it on through. Sit down on that shoulder, bring the cheek to the mat. Inhale it back to a neutral tabletop position. Maybe reaching that right arm back up again, getting a little counter stretch. And bring it back down to your neutral tabletop. Come into the other arm. Left arm extends up high. Reach, reach, reach. Get a nice stretch here. And then when you're ready, bring it on through, thread the needle. Come on out, bring that left arm back up high one more time for a little counter, and then bring it back to a neutral tabletop position. From here, let's go ahead and cross the ankles over and sit back onto the glutes again. And then let's just come all the way back down onto our backs, onto the mats. <sighs> And let's come into our happy baby pose. So grab the feet, start to pull those feet and those knees down towards the ground while you at the same time push up with those feet a little bit. Try to see if you can get a whole entire spine flat on the back. If you can get the lower back flat on your mat. Really pull those feet down and out. Maybe rock your happy baby from left to right, getting a little massage to the back. Hold your happy baby here, breathe. Getting into the hip flexors here. This is where we hold a lot of our tension, a lot of our stress, a lot of our traumas and angers and sorrows. When we do poses like these hip openers, it helps us to release that from our bodies. On the inhale, bring those legs up high to your waterfall. We're gonna come into our shoulder stand series here. So when you're ready, come on up. Maybe you bring the hands to the lower back for a little support. Try to have a neutral flat spine here, legs straight up in the air. And see if you can create a little space between the chest and the throat here. <clears throat> These shoulder stand series get into our bandha locks. So all of the 
Mahabanda is engaged here, Mula Banda, Uriyara Banda, and Javahara Banda. So that's our root area, our stomach, and our throat bondage. So breathe here. Go ahead and drop those legs over for your plow pose or halasana. Try to find some stillness here. Breathe. And then go ahead and spread the knees wide, coming into your deaf man's pose. And breathe. Try to find some stillness here. All right, guys, slowly come on out, bringing the legs back down to the mat for our counter pose, fish pose. So those hands can come underneath the glutes, the legs and toes stand out, maybe keeping the spine and the neck straight here. Getting a nice little bend to that lower back, a nice little counter stretch here. <clears throat> Let's come on out of fish pose. Let's hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice big hug here. Maybe rock left to right. Keeping that right knee in, extend that left leg out. And then go ahead and bring that right knee on over to the left. That right arm extends out, gaze goes over the right arm for our supine spinal twist. Close the eyes, take a couple deep breaths here. Start to slow it down here, slowing the breath. Let's bring that knee back to the chest. That left knee will come back with it. Hug the knees back into your chest. Keep that left knee in. Extend the right leg out, taking a twist to the opposite side. Come on out, bring that knee back into your chest, both knees, hug it in, squeeze it tight, maybe rock from left to right. And then we're gonna come into our pigeon pose, however you wanna get there. Some of you like to start from downward facing dog, that's fine. However you like to come into it, if you wanna take it on your back seated, if you're taking regular pigeon, we'll go ahead and bring one of the legs out in front. That heel comes towards the groin area. Sit up tall and then on the exhale, start to fold over that leg. And see if you can just start to melt over that leg and into the mat. <clears throat> so we're gonna be holding this pose for a little while. When we hold poses for a long period of time like this, that's called our yin, the yin practice of our yoga. So 
for some people, this is very challenging, despite what you may think. This is when the mind starts to race. So see if you can first find stillness with the body. Try not to fidget, try not to adjust yourself here. Find where it's comfortable for you and then stay in that pose. Breathe into that pose. And then start to slow the fluctuations of the mind. Notice what's coming up. Don't stand underneath that waterfall of thoughts. Take a step back and observe the waterfall of thoughts. Start to slow it down. Find stillness with the body and mind. Use your breath and just be with this pose. <clears throat> Have three more breaths. One more breath. When you're ready, slowly start to make your way out, doing whatever you need to do. So even it out and feel comfortable. <clears throat> and when you're ready, we're going to come in to the other side. So again, find your, your comfortability level here. Do what feels right for you. Start to settle into this pose, finding your stillness, and then your breath. Try to find that stillness in the body. Close the eyes, sink into that pose, still the mind, just breathe. One more breath here. When you're ready, slowly start to make your way out of your pigeon pose. <clears throat> and from here, do whatever counter postures you need to do to even it out. Maybe there's a pose that I didn't do that you guys love. That's going to balance your practice out. Go ahead and do that now. You guys have about a minute to get settled in, maybe get a sip of some water, 
do whatever poses you want to do. If you want to invert, you can do your inversion here. Take a minute or two to go ahead and do that before we come into our final pose, our final resting Shavasana. We'll take one more, two more breaths here, and then we'll all meet in Shavasana on our backs. So if you're not there already, let's all go ahead and come on to the backs. Close the eyes. And let's start to just relax the whole body here. So start with the top of the head, the eyelids come heavy. Let that tongue come off the roof of the mouth, relax the jaw. Start to relax through the shoulders, through the abdomen, the arms. The hands face up to receive energy, hands face down for grounding. And relax the fingertips. Relax all the way through your thighs, your legs, the knees, the shins, until you get to the feet and the toes. The whole body is heavy, just melting into your mat. Slow down the thoughts, slow down the mind here. Let's all take a deep breath together. Exhale all the stale air, air out first. And let's all inhale through the nose for five, four, three, two, one. Hold it at the top. Open the mouth, sigh it out. Let's do one more just like that. Inhale through the nose for five, four, three, two, one. Hold it at the top. Take another little sip of air in if you can. Then open the mouth, sigh it all out. Nothing left to do now, but dive deeper in. Relax. I'll see you on the other side of Shavasana. If you do not want a cold cloth, just put your hand on your stomach. And I won't give you one.
Let's start to wake the body up a little bit here. Start to wiggle through the fingers and the toes. <clears throat> And so I'll roll over onto one side into a fetal position. And so I'll do the right side so that your heart's on the mat. Keeping the eyes closed. Just take a moment here. Find some gratitude for yourself, for your practice, for showing up today. And keeping the eyes closed, make your way up to a seated position with the legs crossed. <clears throat> so I'll bring the hands to heart center. I want to thank each and every one of you for showing up today, for showing some love and support for my practice and for showing up for yourselves as well. Try and take what you learned here today, the strength, the gratitude and love that you've cultivated and go out into the world and practice it off of your mat. The light in me cherishes, sees and recognizes the light in each and every one of you. Namaste. Namaste, Yogi. Namaste, guys. Thank you.